Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back for another episode of F1 Manager and we are here for round 21 for the Brazilian Grand Prix and I am excited. It's been quite a while since I've played recording this. It's been a week since I was last on. Now, we are back. Literally, so guest. So, where we left off, we, are, we won the Mexican Grand Prix, I believe. Charles Leclerc won it. I need to actually double check, so I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Anyways. Let's get to this weekend and let's keep our streak going. The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades and soon will once again be watching the best drivers in the world give it their all. The Sao Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing challenge for teams and drivers alike. Between medium speed S corners, hill climbs and the high speed section after Jun Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. What will happen this weekend? Only time will tell. All right, you'll check. All right then. Yeah, really, it's good. Let's send Carlos Sainz out. Very nice. Who else is going out? I think that's an Alfa Romeo over here, and it is. It's Valtteri Bottas. Purple so far. Boss House will be crossing the line first, so the time is a one oh nine zero science meanwhile, a one oh eight six. So that was a good lap from Sainz. One of the Red Bulls is out, I believe it's Max Verstappen and it is. He's preparing for his warm-up lap. Verstappen going to improve in sector 2? He does, so Verstappen's improving in sector 2. All he has to straight ahead of him. So this is looking like a fast lap for Max. Not quite sure what the time will be. As he, he only goes green, but he's on pole. A 1084 is the time that we have to beat. Alright, Leclerc. Only green sector one, but a purple sector two, which is good. So hopefully Leclerc can improve in sector three. It is looking like a good lap. The question is, is it going to be enough to beat Max Verstappen, who's on provisional pole? And it is, it's a 108.457, just about ahead of Verstappen by 0 0.033 seconds. 
on board of Sebastian Vettel as he's doing his lap round the final corner. What's this lap going to be for Vettel? Setting personal best, hasn't done a lap yet, so this will be his first lap. What's this time going to be for Sebastian Vettel? Only enough for level fastest. So Aston Martin hasn't got any points this season, neither has Williams. Which is which is a quite a surprise. So they're gonna be wanting to get some points this this year, possibly. Signs improving in sector one. Leclerc and Verstappen not improving in sector one. Verstappen with a green sector two. Leclerc not improving. What about Carlos Sainz? Is he going to improve the second sector? I'm not quite sure. But he does have a McLaren up ahead, which is not going to be ideal when he doesn't improve. And he's most likely going to get held up. Max Verstappen crossing the line. Purple sector three. Pole position. Charles Leclerc. Green sector three. Second place. Carlos Sainz. Despite being held up, I don't think it would be enough. And it's not enough. But still say third. Magnussen completed. No, Magnussen hasn't completed his lap. Not yet, at least. Ricardo, 14th fastest. Norris out of qualifying. Can any of the two Aston Martins? Vettel, 17th fastest. What about Scholl? Stays in 18th. What about the two Williams? Can they do anything? No. So Ricardo just about getting out of Q1. Lando Norris out of qualifying. Not ideal, Leclerc's been held up. Oh my gosh. Only second fastest. Across the line, Hamilton goes third fastest. Alright, Leclerc going fast in sector one. Looking like a solid lap, what about two sector two? Only a green. The science starts his lap. On board with Charles Leclerc. What's his time going to be across the line? It's going to be only a green, but for only fourth fastest. So Leclerc doesn't improve. Science, meanwhile, as he's starting his lap. There's been a crash. There's South been a like crash until an Alonso's out. Here's the replay. Okay, so there we have the LP. Some big lock up. They won't have been expecting that. Big crash all the way there. That was unexpected. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. There's a yellow flag in sector two. Is that so, the lock up? Joe locking up. Alonso out of qualifying. Well, technically. But it's still... Only sixth fastest. Science on pole. So he didn't improve in sector one, but the rest he did. Interesting. Does he go on board with Max Verstappen? Archon, seventh fastest. Charles Pitley. Okay, copy. Charles going into the pits. On board of Max Verstappen. Bottas goes second fastest. What is Max Verstappen's time going to be? It's going to be only third fastest. What about Sergio Perez across the line? Stays in sixth. Yuki Sonoda. But actually, Bottas is in second place. We've got to keep that in mind. That's an amazing lap from Bottas. And that's it, though. The two Alpha Towers out. Joe Granu also out. Ricardo and Magnussen both eliminated out of Q2.
Right, Leclerc going purple into sector two. Oh, that car sounds so good. Across the line, can Leclerc beat Science's lap for provisional pole? We'll see right now, he does go purple and it's a 108.3. So Charles Leclerc, as it stands with three minutes and 50 on the clock, is on pole position unless either his teammate or anyone else could possibly take that pole position away. Alright, Science, green sector one. Charles Leclerc just doing his lap. So Science will not have any traffic at all up here, so he doesn't have to worry about anything. Science not improving in sector two though. Is he going to improve his time? Only enough for second fastest. Max Verstappen across the line. Can he get past and get into pole? No, only second fastest. So Verstappen ahead of Sainz. Meanwhile, Bottas sixth fastest. Lewis Hamilton as well on board with George Russell as he's ahead. What can he do from here? He's going to go same seventh. Meanwhile, his teammate Hamilton only fifth fastest. Esteban knock on. Charles Leclerc on pole position. Ocon moves up a slot, so Charles Leclerc will be on pole position for the Brazilian Grand Prix. What we like to see. So many people taking penalties as well. Oh my Jesus, all right. It's time for the final touches here on the grid, ahead of today's race. These past few days, Ferrari have been absolutely thrilling their fans. Now let's see if they can make the Tifosi proud by capitalizing on that grid position. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. As ever though, Alright, it's going to be raining at some parts of the race. Um, let's go for the safe option. Let's put two tank, two kg in the tank, and let's get underway. It's bright and sunny as the drivers line up on the grid. And there's Charles Leclerc. He won today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. And further back, there's Sainz. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? The race start is mere seconds away. Who will win? Only time will tell. Here at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Leclerc getting off the line to a brilliant start. Max is tapping, tucking in behind. As Perez loses the spot, side by side of Valtteri Bottas, as Bottas could possibly take fourth place. Already crazy battles in lap one, but Bottas has to hold back. Perez gets past. Both McLaren's in the back. Hamilton is 16th as he had to take a penalty. So let's see what Hamilton has to do. If he could possibly get a good decent amount of points today. 
behind the Aston Martin is Lance Stroll. Meanwhile, George Russell behind the Aston Martin is Sebastian Vettel, and he is catching up to Sebastian Vettel. Stappen going round the outside of Charles Leclerc. Science heads in the fastest lap. Leclerc's not giving this up without a fight. He will get DRS. As there goes Carlos Science in the inside line. Can this possibly be three wide? This is mental. Down the inside goes Charles Leclerc and retakes the lead of this race. I think someone's run wide. Let's take a closer look. running wide. We're just watching the Red Bull. Oh, Jesus. Stapping ran very wide. And there we can see them slide off. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. So it's a Ferrari one to understand. Perez. They're going to go down the inside of Carlos Sainz. He will have DRS. Question is, will it be enough before we get to the next turn? No, we're not. Harris just has to hold back a little longer. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Albon running wide. Our pit window has just opened for Charles Leclerc. Perez overtaking signs as they both go side by side. There goes Max Verstappen, as you can see in the distance. So he managed to catch up to both Perez and Sainz. Well done. Another car's run wide. advance the race position. So Perez pits for hards. So Verstappen dives into the pits. So what's the team thinking of putting him on then? Going for medium tyres. But As okay, Charles Leclerc pits this lap for his pit stop. Shout button on. Yeah, Box, Carlos Box, and Pete Hopper. Yeah, Box. Hamilton going into the pits, you can see the two Red Bulls in the background. We're pitting the science lap as well. from here 2.5 not bad it's very close quarters meanwhile Verstappen catching up to his teammate Sergio Perez so the two rebels having a bit of a squabble but Sainz guessing out no Leclerc ahead and comfortable Sainz just tucking in behind the drama of the two Red Bulls as Max Verstappen Possibly figured of guessing past Sergio Perez for second place as he goes down the inside and Max Verstappen takes second place ahead of his teammate. 
Was that a lock up on the track? Perez locking up. Let's see what happened there. We're just watching the Red Bull. It was a big They've lock up. up. But that could have been much worse. Big lock up from Perez. Science, meanwhile, I'm behind the Max Verstappen. Red Bull gained a place. Someone's crashed. Safety and car. a safety, safety car, car has came out. Which is interesting. So safety car's out. Sonoda's out of this race. I think that was a crash. Let's Sonoda take a look crashing at the in replay. turn one. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Big lock on done the same mistake. Nobody else Alonso did. That was a so just charge that pack. Shit. We're going to keep science out. It's a clear hit for hard. So safety car on lap 35 out of 71. Leclerc will come out ahead of Perez, I believe. And he does. In P3. So only loses two places, but will be on fresh hards. So Verstappen so far in the lead of this race behind the Aston Martin safety car, which I must say looks good. Apparently another car has spun. Who? Who has possibly spun? Safety car enters lap. So safety car is going to be in this lap. Gasly spinning in turn 10. Here's the I want to know how. Now look at this, it's Pierre Gasly. <laughs> they lose it there. That's the spin. <laughs> okay. That was a bit awkward. Awkward spin through there. Especially behind the safety car, but okay. Copy. Green flag on the way. Stop and leads. Follow signs. Follows him behind. Okay. So there won't be any DRS for two laps. Science doesn't really need DRS. He could possibly get past. He is gaining on Max Verstappen. Question is, will he send it? No, you will not. He has to just hold back for a bit. Staffan takes the lead of the race. Carlos Sainz looking by, seeing if there's an overtaken opportunity. Round the outside, Carlos Sainz is thinking. He tried to the attempt to just bring thrown out of the window, but he's not giving up, he's still behind Verstappen, straight to the outside line, Verstappen goes defensive, Science has a chance here to go around the outside, Charles Leclerc catching up, around the outside possibly goes Carlos Sainz on Max Verstappen, getting almost pushed off the track, but still holds as Verstappen still defending the lead of this race. Sainz is trying to find every opportunity, goes down the inside of Max Verstappen, this is some great racing we've seen right here. A science going around the outside yeah, of Max Verstappen as the weather changes there, as you see. Verstappen somehow still holding on the lead of this race, but science yet again going down oh, the inside. How long are these lot the going place. to stay side by side for as science gets past and retakes the lead of this race? Box. Red Bull should react later on. Yeah, so that way, the next time it rains, we can just be on hard.
Yeah, in the pit lane. Copy, tire phase. Alright, Sarge in the pits. Stop him, we take the lead this race. Nice 2.4 second pit stop. Down the inside, in the final corner goes Charles Leclerc, side by side with Verstappen, but Verstappen somehow getting passed by Charles Leclerc as Leclerc retakes this lead of the race. Really well executed. Verstappen diving into the pits, so he's pitting early. So he's like, those tyres are done, time to box a new pair, and he's going for a set of hards. So Verstappen in the pits now. The question is, where is Carlos Sainz going to come out ahead of Max, or is he going to be behind Max? It's going to be a very close exit, we will find out. The Sainz does get ahead of Verstappen, so the undercut did work, and Sainz up into 10th place. Is that a lockup? Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. It's a lockup, and that could be costly. Big lockup from Vessel. Uh... Another yellow flag in sector three. Not quite sure who locked up. They've locked up and gone Paris straight locking up. Let's take a closer look. So let's look at this. There's Sergio Perez. Oh, and there's Everyone the seems to be locking That's up into the, the first turn. Charge button on. Okay. And just charge the pack. Yeah. Science just get a good run on Verstappen. Goes for the inside line. Look at the straight line speed on that Ferrari as the Prazen horse gets past the Red Bull up into second place. Oh, it's been a crash. Someone has got on the penalty and it is crashed. Kevin Magnusson. We can take a look now. Now just focus on the Haas. Oh my god! <laughs> okay the then. Contact there. Oh, there's chaos on the track. And two more laps. <coughs> Copy. So one more lap. So Charles Leclerc starting his final lap of the race. Science still on hot pursuit of chasing Max Verstappen. We're going to turn to give it everything, use all of his ERS, go in maximum attack. So hopefully Science can catch up to Max before the end of the race, the final lap. It's going to be a last lap battle. We could possibly get a 1-2. Science does have battery. The fans are loving this net in for a treat. We could possibly get another Ferrari 1-2 if Science can get past Max Verstappen. DRS enabled as Verstappen moves alongside. Sainz is thinking about going around the outside. Look at the straight line speed. It's round the outside. Goes Carlos Sainz. And he gets past the Sappen. Up into second place. Absolutely phenomenal. But this man right here. Charles Leclerc. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. He has been brilliant all season. And he goes around the final corner. He's been so very dominant this there. year. And he has been driving absolutely rapidly. The Tifosi will love this. The Brazilian crowd are loving this. As round the final corner, you can hear the cheers for Charles Leclerc as he wins the Brazilian Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. Charles Leclerc wins in Brazil. Was incredibly difficult. Once again, Charles Leclerc what a job, mate. What a race. is your race winner. Amazing. Carlos Sainz sets okay, we'll for P2 and Verstappen sets for P3. It's another Ferrari 1-2. And we take maximum points. Love that.
Well, this was definitely Charles Leclerc's weekend. This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. And the Monegasque driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. Ferrari had a very good race, proving they're definitely a team to contend with. Yep, they managed to bring everything together. Strategy, engineering and driving. They've had a very strong weekend indeed. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. It's another win. It's more maximum points for us as Charles Leclerc wins the race. Science takes the fastest lap. And look at the gap between Science and Verstappen. Six points separate them two. Charles Leclerc comes to be in the lead. It's his 15th win in this season. And Ferrari, we extend our lead 818 points. Oh my god. That's absolutely crazy. Big comfortable lead ahead of the two Red Bulls. Love that. Gain a development point for Charles Leclerc. Alright. That's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content on the channel. And I will see you lot in the next episode for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix.